Head-on elastic collusion of two marbles. A 10 gram marble slides to the left at a speed of 0.4 meters per second on the frictionless horizontal surface of an icy New York sidewalk and has a head-on elastic collusion with a larger 30 gram marble sliding to the right at a speed of 0.2 meters per second. Part A. Find the velocity of each marble, magnitude and direction after the collusion. Since the collusion is head-on, all motion is along a line. Part B. Calculate the change in momentum, the momentum after the collusion minus the momentum before the collusion for each marble. Compare your values for each marble. Part C. Calculate the change in kinetic energy, the kinetic energy after the collusion minus the kinetic energy before the collusion for each marble. Compare your values for each marble. So let's start with a review of head-on elastic collusion. So if we have a one-dimensional collusion, which is head-on, head-on elastic collusion, uh, we will have momentum conservation, delta P total is zero because there is no external force acting on the system, and kinetic energy conservation um, at the same time. So both uh, linear momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. So that's what elastic collusion means. The change in kinetic energy is zero. So if I write the total linear momentum initially as m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial is equal to m1 v1 final plus m2 v2 final. This is the total uh, final linear momentum. I can see that by rearranging this equation in m1 parentheses v1 initial minus v1 final is equal to in m2 parentheses v2 final minus v2 initial. Now if I write kinetic energy conservation, the initial kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 m1 v1 initial squared plus 1 over 2 m2 v2 initial squared. This must be equal to final kinetic energy 1 over 2 m1 v1 final squared plus 1 over 2 m2 v2 final squared, the 1 over 2s will uh, disappear. And this gives me an equation m1 v1 initial square minus v1 final square is equal to m2 v2 final square minus v2 initial square. Now this can be written as m1, the dot product of v1 initial minus v1 final with v1 initial plus v1 final equals to m2 v2 final minus v2 initial dot product with v2 final plus v2 initial. Now notice that m1 v1 initial minus v1 final, this term, is equal to m2 v2 final minus v2 initial due to conservation of linear momentum. So these two terms are the same. Therefore this gives us an equation v1 initial plus v1 final is equal to v2 initial plus v2 final. 
So this is an important result of head-on elastic collusion. So in part A, we have a total initial linear momentum. Uh, we have a 30 gram marble, 30 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms, that was moving at 0 0.2 meters per second to the right. So it is multiplied with 0 0.2 I hat. And then we had a 10 gram marble moving with 0 0.4 meters per second to the left. So minus 10, 10 to minus 3 kilograms times 0 0.4 I hat. So this gives us in total 2 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms meter per second initial uh, linear momentum for the system. Okay, now we can write the final linear momentum. Final linear momentum will be 30 grams, 30 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms, V1 final. Why V1? Because I have labeled this one as first marble, this one as second marble. V1 final plus 10 times 10 to minus 3 V2 final. And this must be equal to the initial linear momentum 2 times 10 to minus 3 I hat. So as a result, we find that 30 V1 final plus 10 v2 final is equal to 2 i hat. Now uh, from head-on elastic collisions uh, we have v1 initial uh, plus uh, v1 final is equal to v2 initial plus uh, v2 final so uh, V1 initial was 0 0.2 I hat, so it is 0 0.2 I hat plus V1 final is equal to V2 initial minus 0 0.4 I hat plus V2 final. So this gives us an equation V1 final minus V2 final is equal to minus 0 0.6 I hat. Okay, so um, putting these two together, we have 30 V1 final plus 10 V2 final equals 2 I hat. And then we have V1 final minus V2 final equals minus 0 0.6 i hat so let's multiply this equation with 10 and add to the first equation so this will give us 10 v1 final plus 30 v1 final 40 v1 final minus 10 v2 final plus 10 v2 final cancel and then we have 2 minus 6 i hat so therefore we find that v1 final is equal to minus 4 over 40 minus 0 0.1 meters per second i hat magnitude 0 0.1 direction minus i hat so this does that make sense so uh, First, it was moving towards the second marble. After the collision, it's moving in minus i hat direction with this uh, speed, 0 0.1 meters per second. And uh, we can substitute this result into uh, this equation to obtain V2 final. So V2 final is equal to V1 final plus 0 0.6 i hat. So this would give us for V2 final 0 0.5 meters per second in positive x direction plus i hat. Okay, so uh, using conservation of kinetic energy and linear momentum um, simultaneously we were able to obtain uh, V1 final and V2 final 
magnitudes. Now in part B, I want to know the change in the linear momentum. So the, what is the change in the linear momentum of the first marble? So that would be M1 V1 final minus M1 V1 initial. So we have 30 grams, 30 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms. V1 final is minus 0.1 I hat. V1 initial is uh, 0.2 I hat, so minus 0.2 I hat. That gives us minus 0.009 kilograms meter per second I hat. So that's the change in the linear momentum of the first marble. What is the change in the linear momentum of the second marble? It is M2 V2 final minus M2 V2 initial, which is 10 grams, so 10, 10 to minus 3 kilograms. V2 final is 0 0.5 I hat. V2 initial is minus 0 0.4, so minus minus plus 0 0.4 I hat. This gives us plus 0 0.4. 009 kilograms meter per second I had. So what we need to check is what happened to the linear momentum of the total system. Check if delta P total is zero. It is delta P1 plus delta P2 minus 0 0.009 plus 0 0.009 I had is indeed zero. So this checks. Now in part C, let's check the kinetic energy conservation. So what is the change in the kinetic energy of the first marble? It is one half and one V1 final square minus V1 initial square. So this is one half, 30 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms times 0 0.01 minus 0 0.04. So this gives us minus 4.5 times 10 to minus 4 joules. If I do that for the second marble, changing kinetic energy of the second marble is one half m2 v2 final square minus v2 initial square which is one half times uh, 10 10 to minus 3 kilograms times final speed was 0 0.5 so 0 0.25 is the square and initial was um, for this one um, 0 0.4 so it's minus 0 0.16 so here we obtain plus 4.5 times 10 to minus 4 joules for the change in kinetic energy. So uh, what is the conclusion? Well, we can check if the change in kinetic energy is zero. So change in kinetic energy is delta K1 plus delta K2. This is minus 0 0.00045 and plus 0 0.00045 which is 0 joules. So indeed kinetic energy is uh, conserved for this head-on elastic collusion. Okay, so uh, we're talking about one-dimensional collusion, head-on elastic collusion of marbles 1 and 2. Uh, the bigger marble is traveling to the right, the sm smaller marble is traveling to the left. As a result of the collusion, we want to know, knowing the initial velocities, what are the final velocities of 1 and 2, change in momentum of 1 and 2, change in kinetic energy of 1 and 2, and prove that delta K is 0 and delta P total is 0. Now, for head-on elastic collisions, we write the conservation of linear momentum and conservation of kinetic energy. This gives us an important relation between the final and initial velocities. V1 initial plus V1 final is V2 initial plus V2 final. So, 
If you calculate the initial linear momentum and set it equal to the final linear momentum, so M1V1 final plus M2V2 final is equal to the initial linear momentum, combining this equation uh, with the uh, equation we obtain for head-on elastic collision, uh, where we combine conservation of kinetic energy and linear momentum, we obtain two equations for V1 final and V2 final, which can be solved simultaneously uh, to obtain V1 final and V2 final. Then we can calculate change in linear momentum of individual marbles, M1V1 final minus M1V1 initial, M2V2 final minus M2V2 initial. And if we add them up, we should obtain the change in linear momentum of the total system is zero because there was no external force. And if we calculate the kinetic energy change, one half M, M1V1 final square minus V1 initial squared, and the same for M2, we obtain a minus 4.5 and plus 4.5 10 to minus 4 joules, which indeed add up to 0 joules. So the kinetic energy of the system is conserved.